Easy. Easy. and uh, I'm proprietor of Nom 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 Crepes. I've actually been here for two years. So one of the great aspects of uh, Market 707 is that it uh, allows, uh, gives an opportunity to a lot of people to start up a business uh, with very limited funds and to be able to make as many mistakes as you want uh, with little or 
lesser consequences. When I first started here, I had basically a small crate machine, uh, a little 8x11 uh, paper with a few scribbled uh, menu items on it. And what Market 707 was able to do was to show me the ropes to see it's a great proof of concept. I went from a very limited menu of very simple crepes to uh, more, a lot more innovative crepes and it's what I'm starting to be very well known for, <laughs> deep fried crepes. Um, they are, it's, it's, it's as delicious as it sounds, trust me. <laughs> Having vendors who are go-getters, who want to show the world what they can do, really does help. Um, it really creates a sense of community. It creates uh, the opportunity for you to uh, pool your resources, uh, to do uh, festivals together, to market uh, together. So then Market 707 becomes a destination. I will take this knowledge that I've learned at Market 707 and I will take it forward to the next step. Uh, wherever that next step may be, we shall see. And this will, Market 707 will have been a huge part of where I end up and how successful I am. It's Chase Brokenshire. Um... I'm 20 years old. I'm Satchel. I'm 20 year olds as well. The business that we run is called SC Cycles. SC Cycles, we like it. It stands for like a scouting court, Satchel and Chase, spin camp. So, so cool. I started my business at Market 707 in January 2012. I started getting ready to open it and I approached Chase to uh, join as my business partner. It was like sort of a passion of ours, something we talked about together a lot, so when the opportunity came up, it made sense to make the most of the space. The reason we've been able to start a business at all is because of Market 707, right? Like the average uh, bike shop in the city have a a base of like fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars in rent, which is just like a massive overhead that we don't really have to deal with. Oh, yeah. Something that I'm really happy to be able to do is small work, fix problems that no one else would take the time to do. Because any other shop, you have to go through the process. There's a minimum cost, and we're just there to do the little thing that they need and send them on their way. Keep their bike safe. Keep them rolling. This shop kind of gives me both grounding and direction. It's a place where I can work from and a place where I can plan from and decide what I want to do because I'm still young and I still got to decide a lot of things for myself. My dream for the shop and my dream for the market is uh, I want it to expand. I want more of these around the city. Maybe I don't want to start some big business in some big shop. Instead of expanding in a larger way, expanding from side to side, you know, staying on the same plane, but just moving in all directions. More of these shops around the city with low overhead and opportunities for other young student age people to work on bikes and to uh, make a positive effect. That's, I guess, what my dream is for this market and for my place in it.